If you were to build the perfect starting wing in the modern NBA, it would look something like Trey Murphy the third. He's tall, he has long arms, he's a freak athlete, great suitor, great defender, decent creator. He just does everything you ask and everything you would want in a wing. The jump Murphy has taken from year 1 to year 2 has been extremely encouraging. His volume production and efficiency have all gone up. And he's proving that he wasn't just worth the 17th overall pick in the 2021 draft, but also that he was well worth it if the Pelicans just stayed at pick 10 and took him with that pick. He is just a player that is hype boy, but also has a higher ceiling than people believe. He's going to be a reliable starter in this league for the next 10 years at the very least, because his skill set is semantically covered. But he can be even more than that. Trey Murphy is a very good shooter. He's shooting 41% from three on 6.3 attempts per game. A majority of them are catch and shoot looks, as 5.5 of those 6.3 attempts are of that variety. In fact, a majority of his offense is three pointers. 63% of his offensive field goal attempts are three pointers. And when you look at what he does on tape, it's really special. Trey Murphy has incredible shot preparation. His movement from catching to firing is very fluid. On top of that, his form is really quick and smooth as well. In a way, it's the perfect form in terms of catch and suit ability. He's really good as a movement suitor. He's really good as a catch and suit guy. He has pretty deep suiting range. He has a form that allows him to suit with defenders within a range of a contest that most wouldn't. He even has some on-ball zoos. I don't think he'll be an Ingram or Tatum level side creating wing, but I do think he has the potential to be good enough to be in the discussion for a capable threat in that area. And when you have all of that at 6 foot 9 on the wing, it is really valuable to have as a skill set, and also a skill set that makes me comfortable labeling him as the ultimate for spacer. Having a guy in the wing that is always a legit threat to hit jumpers at a high volume on an efficient clip can do wonders for any team, and the Pelicans have that in Murphy. I also think that on offense, Murphy is valuable beyond shooting, and that starts with his ability as a finisher in both half court and transition settings. He attacks closeouts very well, and is a great rim runner in transition. He's shooting 54% on 1.6 layup attempts per game. He's shooting 74.2% on 2.3 restricted area attempts per game. He's shooting 65.6% on 3.2 overall paint area attempts per game. Now granted, it's not the best volume in the world to say the least, considering that he is a majority 3-point shooter, but I do think this is enough to suggest that he is a valuable threat in these areas as a finisher on top of his ability to shoot the basketball. We all saw it in the dunk contest when it comes to his incredible vertical athleticism, but something else that was on display in that contest with him was his flexibility, which is also key in his finishing ability. Murphy is one of the most flexible players in the league, which combined with his wingspan and height makes his range of motion on finishing angles very big. Trey uses his vertical explosion combined with that flexibility to hang in the air and finish at angles that defenders just don't have the athleticism to defend. He has long strides combined with a decent first step and decent open floor speed. He has all the tools to be a great play finisher, which I think he's close to already if he isn't just outright one right now. A 6 foot 9 player who's a legit threat as a shooter and play finisher as well as a great athlete is something that teams covet because of how valuable those players are in terms of versatility in just about any lineup. And it's not just about offense when it comes to Trey Murphy either, his defense is incredible as well. He uses those same athletic gifts and those physical tools that are showcased in his finishing ability in half court and transition settings on offense, in transition and half court settings on defense as well. In my opinion, he profiles best as a disruptor and a versatile roamer rather than a pure lockdown on ball defender. 
He has on and off ball versatility, which is extremely valuable in today's NBA, especially at the wing position. He uses long arms to contest shots well. He plays passing lanes well. He can fly around the floor. He has decent switch ability. Not a true 1 through 5 defender by any stretch of the imagination. Again, only a few of those actually exist in the NBA. But he can hold his own against some bigs, and he can hold his own on the perimeter against guards. He makes those hustle plays that are extremely valuable but don't show up in the box score. He has really good feel for the game on defense. I never feel like he's lost or he looks confused out there. And he has a super high motor on defense, which is arguably the most valuable and tangible to have in terms of being a great defender. I don't think he'll quite be the defender that his teammate Herb Jones is. I don't think he's quite that level. But then again, I think Herb Jones has potential to be like one of like the five to ten best defenders in the league and a potential like defensive player of the year guy. But I do think Murphy is going to be a real positive on defense long term because he is one already. And I do think he can be a high impact defender as well. Maybe make a few all defense teams in his career. And I think that adds to the value of what Trey Murphy is as a player. Considering what he does on offense and what he does on defense. And I think that his offense and defense are similar in the sense of... It's defined by versatility on top of effectiveness. Trey Murphy defines what modern basketball is in terms of the wing spot. A six foot nine wing with long arms that's a knockdown shooter, can somewhat create, is an elite athlete, is a good finisher in transition and in the half court, and is a versatile defender. There isn't a team in the league that doesn't covet that kind of skill set. He would fit well next to any star in the league. Luka Doncic, Jason Tatum, Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic, Kevin Durant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, even his own teammate Zion Williamson, you name it, he fits well next to it. He's the perfect 3 and D wing, and he can be even more than that. He's only 22 years old, turning 23 in the summer, he has athletic traits you just can't teach, and height and length you just can't teach. He plays well off of others, he's extremely efficient in his production, he's a really good decision maker, he has a high motor. The question is, what isn't there to like? Sure, I don't think he has big time superstar potential, but I do think he has potential to be more than just a 3 and D player. We are seeing now with Mikel Bridges that development never stops no matter how old you are, and Murphy isn't nearly old enough to believe that he's done developing in my opinion. What's to say he can't develop as a sub creator? What's to say he can't improve as an on-ball player? I don't think it's out of the cards to believe he can take a leap in those areas. Is it a guarantee that he takes a leap in those areas like shot creation and on-ball offense? No, it isn't a guarantee. With every player, how they develop is something only time will tell. But just look at the things Murphy has that can't be taught. Honestly, when you look at those athletic traits in that frame on top of his solidified skills, it's hard to believe that the 6 foot 9, 22 turn 23 year old wing still doesn't have potential that he could tap into. Trey Murphy is a player that I think is going to be good in the NBA for a long time at the very least, but I also think he can be a lot more than that. I think he has potential to be a legit third star or third option on a contender one day. He has the skills to do it, he has the intangibles to do it, and he has all the tools physically to do it. Trey Murphy took a leap from his rookie year to his sophomore year. And I don't care that, you know, he was older entering the league. He wasn't this one-done guy. It doesn't change the fact that he has taken jumps in his development. And if he's taking a jump from year one to year two in the NBA, what's to say he can't take a leap in year two to year three or year three to year four? I don't think that development is limited by how old you are necessarily. And I do think... When you look at the traits that Trey Murphy has, there is a chance he does become a star in this league. But more importantly, in my opinion, 
Trey Murphy has a chance to define a position of NBA basketball for the next decade. But that's the end of this video. If you made it to this point, thank you so much. Again, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, notified whenever I release a video. I'm making videos about basketball all the time. So if that's something that interests you or you enjoyed this video, I really think you like this channel because there are a bunch of videos on this channel that are like this and there are going to be more videos on this channel like this in the future. On top of that, liking and subscribing are the two best ways you can help me help my channel grow because those things help me on the YouTube algorithm, helps more people find my content. So in turn, it helps my channel grow and I can make more content for you guys consistently in the future. Let me know what you think about Trey Murphy in the comment section below. How good do you think he could be? Do you think he'd be a star? Do you think he's just a role player? Let me do all of that in the comment section below. But with that being said, guys, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.